what is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of Windows 11 which is the 22454.1000 and this is the latest build as of right now this is a dev build of insider preview and if you're wondering what's the specs of this PC well this is a Core i5-7400 or 7th gen i5 PC I have installed it on this one and if you don't know how to install the Windows 11 on your PC you can watch the video from the card or the description. Now let's jump into talking about the latest version of this Windows 11 and how is it working. Well I have been noticing this particular text right here on this like bottom right corner it shows this Windows 11 Pro Insider Preview and it shows this evolution copy version and stuff. So on the bottom right you will see this particular text which is normal even though if you have a official like Windows license you will see this text over here right now. The official launch date is October 5th 2021 so that is right around the corner I would say less than a month away for the official Windows 11 release and right now I'm gonna show you how is the experience over here overall. So the wallpaper in the background which is changing that is because I have that like slideshow kind of option selected in personalization if I go over here now if I go into the backgrounds and from here as you can see I have this slideshow by the way I have this particular theme and if you're noticing that back button animation that happens and I have been using this particular theme which is the glow one and you can also use the other options too like the sunrise and stuff but those are white themes and here also you will get like the four images as you can see if you hover around your mouse you will see how much wallpapers you will get with each theme so in the background over here on this theme as you can see the glow is selected and the change picture every one minute option I have selected over here that's why the wallpaper is changing automatically now talking about the right clicking stuff in the desktop in the blank area this is how right now it looks like in the previous build it was looking way more compact but right now it is back again to the like previous kind of form and right now it looks like kind of cool and as you can see it has this frosted glass kind of look everywhere and we still get this show more option then we have this next desktop background option again and we have the new kind of thing over here like the new folder shortcut again and the display settings is there and the personalization settings is there and the terminal you can open from right here again. Now in this particular build what has changed well this is a very minor thing but in the recycle bin if you right click right now you get this context kind of menu and over here it shows this like rename option and we have the open then the empty recycle bin option then we have the pin to start properties and if you click on show more and you will get this kind of older kind of things over here and if you go into the recycle bin if you right click this is how you can get the settings and if you right click on the file it shows like this so yeah this is all you get over here nothing much and on the top if you're looking at we get this cut then we have this share option and the delete option then short options are there then the view empty recycle bin restore all items and if you click on the three dots you will get these particular options and on the bottom the seek bar looks like this as you can see so it has this really weird looking black kind of stuff over here but that those will be fixed in the future updates maybe but it definitely looks a little weird over here if you are noticing this like black spot and still if you are hovering around on the maximize button you will get all of these options where you can just like pin this particular app to the left side then you can use or open other apps right here like this and let me actually rescale it and if you minimize this is how the notification will look like so once you put your windows just on a side you will see the corners of it become squarish and once you pull them out from like that particular form to a normal form as you can see the corners of it becomes rounded and on this pc we can still see those options like if you go into somewhere if you wanna cut copy paste everything you can do from here if you right click on it you still get those context menu you can copy something and you can rename it then we have the open in new window then other opening stuff now format option is also there for the drives of course but of course this is my c drive this is the only ssd i'm using over here so yeah now the only thing i'm still disappointed about is that let me actually show you if i have this new folder opened so this is how the folder animation opening looks like and if you minimize that now if you want to drag some particular file in that particular folder from the taskbar that is not possible so here still i am not really sure why they did not add this feature yet as the official launch date is getting closer and closer and i still cannot see this particular feature working i don't know how windows 11 will fare in the future 
whatever things you have searched earlier it will show up just like this you have to just hover around your mouse i'm not clicking right now it will show like these and once you have your desktops as you can see it shows your other desktops too if you have some particular like if you open some particular desktops individually it will show up right here and we have the widgets panel i have not logged in so that's why my microsoft account is not logged in so right now it looks like this and we have the microsoft teams you can set it up from here once you like log in your microsoft account of course so yeah that should be working fine talking about the start screen yes it looks like this still and you can search for anything like run or something from right here and that should work properly now over here we have the spin apps and here you have to drag and drop like drag it to the top if you want to drag some icons over here just like this so yeah that is there but it shows some random apps over here which you haven't even installed the pixar and stuff shows up over here netflix shows up over here i think it will directly head you to the microsoft store or something if you click on it let me actually see okay so it's straight up downloading that particular app so yeah you get these kind of suggestions i guess now also there is this icon kind of thing from where you can like lock your pc and you can change account settings and sign out from your account of course now i have this file explorer right here and we have the settings and the power off option and if you go into the power settings you get the sign in option then the sleep and the shutdown and the restart appears right here now first let me show you the clock it shows this focus session right here and you can set your focusing sessions like you can schedule something in this clock app that is the most interesting part of the latest update and here we have the timer then of course it shows this kind of animation looks very dope i would say as you can see so yeah this animation i'm liking over here let me just reset it so again we have the alarm clock right here and also the stopwatch is there and it shows like this once you have enabled the stopwatch let me just pause it and reset it and there is the world clock you can enable it from here you can add your like cities if you want to so yeah this is how the like stock clock app looks like right now and it looks cool so i clicked on that pixar that's why it has downloaded that over here from the microsoft store talking about the microsoft store let me actually show you that now, of course you get the new icons and once it opens as you can see it shows this kind of previews once you like move around your mouse like hover around your mouse with this particular icons and once you go to a particular app this is how it will look like well it's loading i'm right now on wi-fi so yeah it still has this kind of animation looks very cool i would say and once you go into your library this is how it looks like you can like get updates or check for updates over here and of course this is a microsoft store preview so that's why it says right here and once you switch between the tabs this is how it will look the animation i mean right now it's downloading a new microsoft store update so i'll just wait for that by the way this is how the task manager looks like and right now i'm recording everything with obs and while doing that as you can see my cpu usage is quite high but in this particular update of windows 11 i'm seeing that the cpu usage is definitely quite high from like the previous builds and always almost all the time i can see the cpu usage stays high and even my gpu is getting used as you can see 70 percent while i'm just recording this with obs so yeah and this is a i gpu by the way i don't have a separate dedicated gpu over here the usage is quite high when compared to the previous builds i would say of windows 11 this is a four core four thread cpu so yeah i expect it to be used quite a lot but definitely like 50 percent while doing almost nothing like 90 percent right now as you can see it is opening the microsoft store that's why so yeah windows 11 is getting a little bit heavier on the cpu but yes i see all the apps does not lag or like slow down let me actually open the calculator app and show you so once you open as you can see it opens fast it's not like bad speed of opening apps and this is how the new calculator looks like once you press a button on the keyboard this is how it looks like as you can see and we have if you go into the like this three bars you get the other things other options like currency converter volume length everything else you get and also we of course have the scientific graphing and the programmer calculator date calculation everything else you still get but this has a definitely like different kind of look from the previous windows 10 calculator i would say now this is how the store looks like right now well it looks pretty similar to me but yes it definitely got updated with this like after i checked that get updates option so yeah now let's talk about something else like the performance over here well i would say the performance 
is a little bit slower over here when I compare my score from as you can see these are the two scores of this same PC of Geekbench 5 and this I tested on the right you are seeing a score from 2019 as you can see and this score was with same specs but on Windows 10 of 2019 Windows 10 Pro it was I got single core score of about 892 and the multi core score was 2629 but here on this like September 11th 2021 today that is I have tested this on the latest Windows 11 Pro Insider Preview and over here the single core score as you can see has dropped to 861 from 892 and from the multi core score 2 has dropped almost like 400 plus points it has dropped to 2211 and here you as you can see I have got 2629 or 2629 back in 2019 so definitely in like benchmarks and stuff you will see it is getting lower benchmarks with Windows 11 but yeah this is a developer preview so that is totally fine I guess and if I scroll down more as you can see it was with the same 8 GB DDR4 1200 megahertz RAM it shows because it's in single channel but of course it is running at like 2400 megahertz speed if you can call it that way as you can see the memory right here is same it shows 1200 over here it shows 1199 so yeah definitely similar like same memory stick I have over here on this PC right now so yeah definitely the scores has dropped with Geekbench 5 from Windows 10 from 2019 to the Windows 11 of 2021 and once you click on this desktop over here as you can see we have all these options and here you can actually right click on a particular tab then you can snap it to the left right or move to the desktop 2 or other desktop options which you have opened and we have this show this window on all desktops then you can hover around all of these as you can see and you can go to the second desktop of course anytime you would want to and by the way on the right side you get this English in over here it shows because English India language is selected microphone if you plug in a microphone if you if it's getting used it will show which app is actually using it as you can see right now my OBS studio is using the microphone of course now if you click on this Wi-Fi and sound icon if you click here this is how your connected Wi-Fi will look like and you can disconnect from right here or you can connect to the other networks and this toggle looks cool I would say of Windows 11 and here we have the airplane mode then the nightlight of course works and the accessibility mode is there you can turn down the volume if you want to as you can see and if you tap here you can actually change your speakers from right here I have two devices connect that's why you can see all this so click on this edit icon you have this add you can add the cast keyboard layout and the project option right here if you want to on this quick setting kind of panel and if you tap on the date or click on the date you will see the date like this you will see the notifications just like this and of course you can shrink the date kind of over here if by clicking on this arrow it will show only the date just like this and if you click on this arrow again to expand it it will show the whole month's calendar right here and the date which is currently today that is going to be highlighted in this circular look over here but these icons i feel it is a kind of little bit right side aligned but still i have this on center kind of thing you only get the center and left option for these icons on the task part the icons in my frank opinion looks like more towards the right because just notice this particular gap over here like I'm pretty sure this gap to the right is less than this gap to the left of course so yeah all the icons are a little bit like towards the right side I am not really sure why but yeah this is how it looks like right now on the task bar and on Windows 11 let me tell you some more annoying things that we might face well, if you're someone who uses WinRAR, you might just select two like files over here and you will just right click and from here you want to compress that to a WinRAR zip file or WinRAR file. So yeah, but you get only this compress to zip file option once you like select two icons and right click on them. Now, if you only click on show more options, then only you can add that to your RAR file. So all these WinRAR kind of options does not show up when you right click for the first time as you can see so if I want to like actually add them to a RAR file I have to click on this add to RAR that's when it will like do this then if you right click you can't really extract it with WinRAR from right here as you do normally in Windows 10 by just clicking on this extract to this desktop slash or something whatever folder name you want to give so yeah 
over here you have to actually click on this open with then you can open with winrar or just open it from right here so that will just open but to extract it you have to click on this show more then you can extract it from right here so yeah i mean what's the point if windows 10 can do it with two clicks but here in windows 11 you have to click actually three times to do some stuff but again even though the windows 11 almost gets your cpu to like very heavy usage the apps really opens faster i have seen that like all the apps, whenever I click on them, definitely opens really, really fast. No issues whatsoever. Windows 11 is fast, but yes, definitely it uses your resources it shows in the task manager. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys, on Windows 11 latest build 22454.1000. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the latest Windows 11 build, if you guys liked it or not. Share this video with your friends if you want them to know about this latest update of Windows 11. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.